This is not a tournament. It's a social gathering on the lake with a bunch of guys who are just fishing. And we're going to see who has the best five fish and maybe pay them a few dollars. So it's not a tournament. It's social distancing fishing. Yeah, Jimmy, you know you're going to lose today. You know you did that last time too and it cost you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. He's got me today. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah? Well, I brought the big, big dog in today. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll, see, we'll see how it goes. day was horrible it took us over four hours to catch our first keeper and we the thing is i marked a lot of bedding fish yesterday in the channels and well, i don't i don't know what to really tell you but they just did not cooperate i mean we threw we threw everything in the kitchen sink at them and then we finally left the channels and started looking around the main lake and, and we come across five fish on beds that well, i didn't see yesterday and it's great limit Short. I'll tell you what, like Andy said, it was tough. We found fish in the bed, beds or in the channels, we'd work them. We'd get them to bite, but just couldn't get them to really commit, couldn't get them hooked. And the fish out here on the lake were real aggressive. We found some good fish in the channels, but you know, like Andy said, they just wouldn't go. Yeah, I think these fish we saw in the main lake were actively coming up throughout the day. And Terry kept saying throughout the day in the channels, like this, this, these fish just seem like they've been beat up. They've been getting a lot of pressure. And then the fish on the main lake, we don't feel more, have got, had gotten any pressure, right? We were the first ones really to go after them. He's right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, red button of the camera. Yeah. Right on the, on the net. Right on the back off. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Down there, it worked so gosh darn hard, but look, in, that is inside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We finally got one four and a half hours in. So much for talking trash to Jim Wheeler this morning, huh? Woo! Three of the keepers came off a drop shot rig with different baits. Everything that we use is going to be in the description. It's right down below in the description. Okay. careful for a little tiny keep tiny fish <laughs> well after forever working them I noticed a minnow swimming around and he was chasing them off so I put that little uh, swim bait on it and just fell off right. there it is and on the third fourth cats he come up and crushed it I'll call that one an assist But that's number three in the last 45 minutes or so. Gary, we're gonna do it. That drop shot rig that I use got 10 pound braid with a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Which side you coming? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. Oh, I think, right. I think he might. I think he's going to make it. 
that's four in like 45 minutes 46 minutes now so I, we've been talking it's so bad out here that baby all you need is a five fish limit to at least finish in the money i don't know about winning it i know uh their one team john john gibson and tom know we got a pretty good limit but that number five four All day. I caught all my fish on a pre-rigged worm. Just uh, just a little snap swivel to keep line twist out. I was throwing 10 pound floral clear. Um, we had a few shorts and had all our keepers on. I, all the keepers I caught come on that. You know, the moral of the story, really, I'm just going to take it is I hate to steal a line from Mike Guy Canelli, but it's to never give up. Uh, we very easily could have been frustrated and, and kind of quit on ourselves after halfway through the day, but we stuck it out and finished second place. After we weigh yours, you might weigh ours, and then if we don't need it, no one else is over 6'10, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Did we get five in there? Yep. I hope so. Eight fourteen. Eight fourteen it is. So six pounds, eleven ounces by Team CYC Lures. Looks like they're sitting in third. Good drama. Nine-year-old Chloe Yegley of CYC Lures. Nice job. But an interesting part of the lesson of the day is that we felt like they were going to be in the channels, that would be a place to be. It wasn't. And we were able to keep an open mind and get out in the main lake and try something different. And that truly salvaged our day. First place really blew us out of the water. That was John Gibson, Tom Noe. They had 15 pounds, 11 ounces that they also caught on beds. 15 pounds, 11 ounces. Winner's Tom Noe, John Gibson. No, they're not very attractive people. But they did catch him. Ah. Ooh, a little love. Champions of the um, social distancing fishing expedition, not a tournament. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.